food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, rap and a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made a black Go check out my SoFi store for cheap and exclusive products, links in the description guys. Hey guys, what's going on? Tim is here back with another Photoshop tutorial. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your text look better. Uh, whether it's on a banner or a poster, whatever you guys want, you can use it on anything. Really simple stuff, you guys be able to do it easily. Um, a lot of you wanted to see this, I've already done a tutorial on this before, but these will be different effects, so stay tuned and let's get into it. So first of all, you can get up whatever you want, like a banner, template, or you could just do it on a normal file, whatever. So. Just have a normal background, black background, and then get your text out. I'm just going to put tutorial and make it bigger. You can make it how big you want, so then just centre it, put it in the middle. And then once you've done that, um, I'll just add um, a layer style to it. You don't actually have to do this, but this will it'll look a lot better at the end. So. I'll just make it blue, so I'll have a dark blue and then a light blue, like so. And then you want to add inner glow and change it to overlay, and inner shadow and change that to overlay too. And if you want, you don't have to do this, you can add satin and change that to overlay. Just gives a cool effect. So once you've done that, that's just the start of it. Um, just Duplicate it by pressing Control J, then go to the uh, yeah go to the top one, so the top tutorial one, and then go to Filter, Stylize, and then go to Wind, and make sure it's on Wind, not Blast or Stagger, and then you can choose whichever side you want. So I'm just going to do from the right, so it's going that way, and then once you've done that, go to Distort and Ripple. I really like this effect; it's really cool. It makes it like like a wavy colour, it looks really good. So then once you've done that, you do the, both of them steps again, go to wind and just leave it like that. And then go to distort, ripple. And it gives you this really, really cool effect. Uh, you can put it underneath if you want, or put it on top. Well, don't know what I did then. Put it on top and you can put it to overlay. I mean, not overlay. You can do whatever you want, it just looks really cool, very very cool effects and then if you want you can drop down the opacity of it so you can't see it too much, like so, that just looks really cool, gives it a lot of depth. So that's like the first step, um, that's basically the, the text tutorial but you can also do things around the text, so let's just get rid of that. So once you've got your text like this, this is a different like effect you can add to it. Um, it's kind of a pen tool type tutorial this part uh, once you've got this you can like go around the outside of it so control I mean just hold shift so it's a straight line and then hold shift and click again then I want to make it like a triangle type thing so I'll click up there then click right in the middle of this line and then hold control and drag it and then you can just move it so keep hold of control then let go and then click over here and don't let go just keep holding it and then move it across like so and then you've got that and then right click fill path white and then you just got a cool like little point it looks really cool once you've got the effects on it so you could just have you could have blue maybe you can add, add anything and then say if you want one down here too add a new layer then just click around there then click here click in the middle of it and then hold control and drag this down and then you've got a little curved line then hold shift and click so it's a straight line then click over here then click in the middle hold control and drag and you've got a curved line too and then what should we do? Um, just click back over here, so it's down here, and click in the middle, drag that down, so it's like that, and drag it down, and you've got like a point thing, and hold shift, go there, 
and then click here and then drag it around there. So they've got like a little curved line point thing. You can change the colour of that too. So it's just a really cool effect. You can have that back on if you want. Oh, another cool thing you can do, guys, if you don't want to do that, let's get rid of them two. So you've got, so first you've got the wave, then you've got the two like point things I've just told you how to do. And then another cool thing you can do is you want to make it like quite shiny. So add a new layer, then click here with the pen tool, and click over here, and then click here, hold control, drag up. Then move across a bit and then drag it down. Move across, hold control, drag it up. And just keep doing this process until you get to the end. And then go all the way around, connect it, then fill path the white, and then go, go to the layer, right click, create clipping mask. Uh, no, I've just done something wrong there, guys. Um, one sec. Right guys, I'm back. So basically, you can't actually do that effect with um, a layer style on it. It's just got to be plain right from the beginning. So basically, just add a new layer. Then, just do what I said before. Click there. Click over here. And then, hold, click there. Hold control, drag it up. Drag down. Just keep doing it all the way along. It just gives it like a cool reflection type look. Then you want to fill path white, and then create clipping mask. So then you've got this. It looks really cool. Then click overlay, and then it just gives it a really cool like a reflective look. And then if you can, if you want, you can duplicate it. I think you can actually add the layer style to the tutorial text after you've done it. I'm not sure. There you can like add inner glow and stuff. So that looks pretty cool. Inner shadow overlay. Satin overlay. It just gives it a really cool like reflective look. You could just leave it on normal if you want and then bring down the opacity. Oh that looks a lot better. Just leave it on normal and then bring down the opacity. And it gives it a really cool reflective look. And you can also make a new layer, right click, create clipping mask. And then go to the pen tool and go to white. And then just do a couple dots at the top. Make sure you've got the flow on around 35 though. You don't want it too bright. Then click overlay. And then if you want you can change it to black and then go down to the bottom and drag along and it gives it like a darker colour at the bottom. So that's what looks really cool. You've got like nice reflected 3D type text there. So that's basically it. I've done um, I think that's three different effects you can do to text. It looks really cool once you've got it on a banner or a poster. Um, if you guys want to see some more tutorials like this, just comment below, make sure you hit the like button, and also guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel for daily content, um, well, I try to keep it daily, if not, it's every other day, but yeah, make sure you subscribe, keep um, sharing the videos to help my videos get noticed, and also, also, if you're not already, you can check out my self i store, do really cheap products on there. Well, that's it guys, thanks for watching, thanks for 600 subscribers and I'll see you guys soon.